Hey guys, this is Dan from DiabloManDan.com, and here I'm just going to show you some of the uh, new updated the auction, the new updated auction house. I just can spit it out there, and you'll see right now I'm kind of my, on my witch doctor, I'm level 11 right now. His name is Uga Booga. Thought that would be an appropriate name. Anyway, let's go to the auction house. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot more polish on the auction house than what uh, has been in the past and stuff and getting it ready for release so hopefully that will become sooner than later and you can see up here it shows you what kind of auction house you're currently on now and it also shows your balance like a real money auction house I got uh, the balance of 35 beta bucks that's what they call them I guess I would prefer to call them bobby bucks but whatever and we're going to actually change that and click that and change it over to the gold auction house let's see auction house and it shows your gold balance up here as well um, the different uh, search, you can uh, search for equipments, gems, crafting and dyes, pages and recipes. Let's see here in the beta, this part isn't really all that useful because there's not really any of this stuff in the game or anything I haven't found yet or heard about. So you'll be able to filter and do quality and all kinds of different stuff in here later on. You can see all the different artisan levels. Apprentice, journeyman, adept, master, grandmaster, illustrious, magnificent, splendid, glorious, and exalted. Let's see where they get all these names. <laughs> and so with different slots and stuff like that. So that's the pages and recipes. Not gonna spend much time on that. Uh, crafting and dies. This can be kind of useful. See, this is just a different looking interface. I mean, it's still the same kind of uh, stuff that was in the auction house before. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. It's just prettied up a little bit. Okay. And then gems. Same way. And then equipment. This has changed quite a bit. So you can see here right now we're searching equipment for my uh, witch doctor. You can switch different characters up here. Or if you just want to be general it looks like. You can just switch or uh, search for general items for that cl those classes. Okay. So it lists all your characters there. You can switch out whenever you want. Okay, um, item type, you can either do one hand, like weapons, two hand weapons, off hand weapons or shields, and then armor. I'm just going to select armor for now. And you see armor types, you can select all different types. I'm going to click on amulets there, and just do a basic search. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a few still for sale on here since they potentially took out the amulets from, from the beta in uh, p this patch, patch 14. You can see the bids and buyout prices on this stuff is kind of astronomical for a plus two to four damage amulet but you'll see that in the beta whatever right okay so it shows you the bid here the buyout there time left hover over it and it shows you what the item is okay we'll switch to something else let's go to belt okay search and you can see belt there and it also shows you what you currently have equipped on that character which is very useful Let's see, you can just kind of just scroll down through here and kind of look for stuff that you want. Or you can go and select by level range. You can do by rarity. Um, let's see if there's anything. Uh, so that's not working right now, it doesn't look like. I'll just keep leave it alone for now. Okay, and then you can do preferred stats. Um, on here, I haven't been able to find like plus intellect, plus strength, you know which would be kind of helpful if you want to boost the power of your character a little bit but uh, it does have a whole lot of different things you can look through here like crowd control reduction I haven't seen any of the items like that in the beta but you know, extra health from globes, resistances, uh, gold find you can search by that boom and go and spit them out there and you can do a minimum value um, so I was looking earlier I don't think that is actually working yet Let's see, we'll do five because I saw one for five. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's completely up and running just yet. But when it is, you'll be able to search by minimum value. Say I want seven percent extra gold or eight or whatever. And you can do gold find, sockets, life, steel, all that kind of good stuff. So it's a good way to kind of reduce the stuff you have to look through and kind of gets overwhelming after a while and then, then when the retail game is out you got legendary set I set items you can look at you can pick your max buyout price you want you can type in the name just right there okay 
and like I said, it shows everything here. And that's pretty much the search tab. You know, nothing too special, but definitely prettied up a whole lot. The cell tab is really different. Okay, it's definitely prettied up, and it's a lot easier to uh, look and see what you actually have on your characters. Not only on your characters, but also in your stash. So you got some random stuff here in the stash. And then the characters, you definitely want to uh, repair your items before you sell them, because you can't sell them when they're not repaired. So that's actually my witch doctor, so you can scroll up here and kind of look at the different uh, characters I have and how they have either pretty much absolutely nothing. Uh, Demon Hunter lost a lot of stuff in this last patch. They changed the level requirements on the stuff, and that was kind of disappointing, but yeah, what can you do? Okay, but anyway, that's that, and then you can grab an item for sale. Let's just do this for... Oh, let's click on it. <laughs> and you can put starting price and buyout price. And it's in the gold auction house, and it shows you a transaction fee. You can have 10 auctions live at once. Or you can click it there. And let's see, transaction fee only charge if the item sells. That's nothing new there. So I could sell stuff there and hit it, it would go for sale. Let's see, definitely this menu here, this UI, actually makes a lot more sense than the old one. It made it kind of, the old one made it difficult to find out what you're going to do. Okay. But anyway, we, the next tab, we have the auction tab. It shows you out of the 10 things you have selling that, uh, how the well they're doing, current bid, buyout, time left, and stuff. See, I'm not selling anything as of right now. And down here it shows bids. You know, winning, I'm winning zero five. It shows some auctions that have already, like weeks ago, have actually won and stuff. And you can see it shows you different things. And then here's that amulet I bid on earlier because it was going really cheap. So I bid on it and, you know, wasn't quite high enough for a good bid. So I got outbid again, but definitely not winning. But I assume later on you'll be able to click on that and bid again on that or buy out doesn't look like that's up and running just yet no biggie but anyway that's the auction screen and then the completed screen you know, over here I'll show the different completed items that you have and uh, once you have items over here that you've won you can there'll be a button that says send to stash you can click it and send it right to stash okay and also like on the amulet I bid on earlier I lost or I was actually outbid and so the money it took out of my balance it went over here into the completed items under a picture of the amulet so then I click send to stash and put that money back in my balance uh, it was kind of confusing looking at just glancing at it I'm sure they might change that way that works later but that's how it works for now and then here auction log shows you like uh, all the logs is recent stuff okay like on the 20th February 22nd and then today all right and that pretty much sums up this uh, I just wanted to say when you switch over to, to the real money auction house you'll be able to also you know buy gold can't do that on the gold auction house because you don't it doesn't make any sense to to buy gold with gold right okay but uh, it's only a different change there and uh, that's it hoping for a release date very soon and uh, we'll have a lot more videos out before you know it <laughs>